I'm gonna help you stop getting hammered down and learn how to use hammers in endgame very easily with these principles. First of all, we're gonna talk about pace. Secondly, we're gonna talk about layers. Lastly, we're going to talk about security. And this picture right here is a great example because we have a little bit of everything besides the pace. Once we get moving, I'll show you that. But there's a couple of people here, this guy, this guy, that are not very secure. Noxy decides he's going to hammer. Paffel decides he's going to hammer. Both of these guys are going to get hammered out. So that is not a secure place nor a good layer. But if we want to take a look at somebody else, we actually see there's a couple of players, Paffel over here, Jiven over here, in very good positions because they are slightly elevated due to natural elevation, but ultimately on like the lowest level possible. So somebody can't hammer you out when you try and rotate. So let's see how this plays out. We're in fifth zone here. We're taking a look at fifth zone during the solo cash cup just to see exactly how everyone is playing. But lots of players have hammers. It's important for you guys to understand how to use them. And I, I think just watching this loop of players and seeing how they play. So zone's going to pull up to the north. We're looking the direction zone's going. So pace. This is a great time to talk about what pace we want to play at. You want to be playing at a medium pace. So if we slow this down to real time, we can just take a look at how the players go. Typically, you don't want to be first for two reasons. So let's get front side here. We'll see some players will get front side of zone. But look at all of these players. This is just straight chaos. You're either going to get buried, pumped, or damaged by these players sitting front side of zone waiting for this to happen. So you don't want to be first. You want to go at like a medium pace. So like fourth, second, third. These guys typically in a better spot. So this player right here in a better spot. Not try and get all the way to front side. And now we see the chaos at the front side of zone starting to play out. We got these players wall to wall. They're trying to make places. And because of the chaos, they're also getting jumped on. So again, you want to try and play with that medium pace going on somebody else's build. But again, we need to talk about security. What is a secure position? Now... We can look at these three players. We got Jamper, we got Pilot, and we got Marco, and Native too. So this is a great example. Marco, too low. This is a position you're going to get buried in. Jamper, in a good spot. I don't believe Jamper is a hammer this game, but nonetheless. No, good, no. This is very easily hammered out. So either Jamper or the player Native could hammer this player out. One hammer knocks you out. So you want to be more secure than that. Both Jamper and uh, Native here, good spots. But let's continue to watch this play. And we see, actually, this is a, a solid play here by Bamelo Poppy. I like this play. Getting on the sides of zone and then putting yourself elevated as you see you're going to go up. One other thing we have to talk about is how to play these zones. So if we see this is what zone is going to look like. Let's say we have zone... This is our one zone. Obviously, this is too big, but then moving zone is going to go here and then zone pulls through this way. Well, where are the best spots on this zone? It is along these two edges. If you stay on these edges as zone moves, so in this example, stay on these edges, you're going to avoid more of the chaos than other places within zone. Typically, the center of the zone, this is going to be the most congested and most players will be flying in with their hammer to these positions so you want to try and avoid that while rotating these are pretty common end game principles to rotate along the end of zone it is even more important now that we are in this hammer meta where everyone is just going up so let's take a look talk about the edges of zone so we can see it in this example the edges of zone are going to be here and here and this is kind of where you want to rotate this is even better of an example than i could have asked for because not only are these the best areas to rotate they're also the elevated positions so you don't go down in this crater so this is a really good example in this game of how to do that and we're going to see zone continues to move the players want to try and avoid going all the way down here because that's not getting yourself out of that position and as we see zone continue to move here Players along these left and right sides are in the best position. So these two right here, best spots, 
Mamelo Poppy actually playing this really well. And we see once again, players starting to secure themselves, find them in zone. And we have another good example. Both Jamper and Bobby, not the best spot here because they are easily one hammer out, fully griefed, dropped into somebody else's box. You want security. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's go play with this player. This is secure. He may be getting jumped in on. Actually, it doesn't look like he's going to. But this is secure. Multiple boxes. The only thing that you want to avoid is players below you. And in this example, he's fine. But that's why you go on the left and right sides of zone here. So you don't have to worry about the congestion here in the middle. Most players in most zones will try and go into the central area here that we're seeing. Now, if we take a look, zone is going to pull up over the mountain. So this is a tough zone to play regardless of hammers. And I like these players here. Jivin playing a really good position here, going over. The one thing that he's doing wrong is he's under Chubbs, easily able to get dropped in. But all you could do is extend out to the left here, connect to the player in front of you, and then work your way up this mountain. And we're going to see a lot of players here in the central. Not holding this for now. But again, we see this pace, this earlier pace, it's hard while going up a hill to decide when you want to go. But once the first person starts going, it's good to be able to secure yourself on top of them. And we see the sides of zone. I'm going to keep repeating this are the best position possible. Honestly, this right side, if you could get it, would be the best because there's almost no one on here. There's tons of security with all these builds and all these fresh builds on the opposite side of zone. Lots of players making their way up the zone, trying to find how to get up this hill. Mudsy's still chilling up above. And the key to playing ha hammers well is try and minimize the number of builds that you need. So if you're just hammering, boxing, hammering, boxing, it's much like we've seen from the Spider-Man meta. You don't really need to use a ton of builds. What you want to do is focus on getting good position out of your hammers and putting yourself in a chance to succeed. <laughs> so as this game continues and is going to end, once we get into the 8th, 9th zone, it's less about fundamentals and more about you understanding where to go during these zones based on what you see in front of you. So we're going up this mountain, we're seeing free space. That is what these players are trying to do. Obviously, end game fundamentals still play, but the hammer fundamentals of medium pace, playing a secure area, and then finding the right layer, those don't necessarily apply as much as we see. It's more about trying to survive, finding open space, and looking for those refresh to give yourself that win condition. But I hope you guys understood this. I hope you guys understand how to play these end games with the hammer. This works both in solos and duos. It's a little more difficult in duos to coordinate this, but obviously if you guys are good, you'll be able to work that out. Solos, very easy to play the right pace, find yourself secure, open layers, and then also putting yourself in a position not to get dropped down by having that awareness of where other players are around you and what you're connected to just in case. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Somebody's Gun. I'll see you next time. Peace.